I wanted to catch this real quick. I'm right at the end of uh, the Stage 2 installer on my Windows 98 install for DOS Legacy Gaming on my HP 5720 Thin Client. I'm really sorry for any shakiness or, you know, crappy cam screener, but the whole idea of this is to have the 1 gigahertz AMD uh, HP 5720 with a 44 pin IDE ribbon cable to a 20 gig IDE hard drive that I'm later on going to be mounting and tucking away internally and here we are we're at here we are at the Windows 98 you know setup I'm not going to bore you guys with the details of setting up Windows 98. Of course, I ran into quite a many brick walls installing Windows 98, um, specifically for its legacy mode, on this hardware. Um, but I finally found a method that worked called Easy to Boot, which uh, allows you to boot legacy operating systems despite its hardware requirements from USB. It supports a ton of operating systems. and. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to it. They have a tutorial that I pretty much followed. Uh, I wanted to try to do more of a legacy method, installing off all of this crazy external US or the uh, the external parallel ATA with all these you know dangerous power supplies and whatnot. But in, in all logistics, the easiest way to do this was using uh, easy to USB, following tutorial number one hundred and seventeen and. A little bit of common sense, making sure you have your hard drive plugged into your thin client and it can support enough amperage. Remember, some thin clients can't support a full hard drive, so you'll have to use disk on module or you'll have to go with compact flash or micro drive or something. But, you know, that hard drive, like I said, is just going to be tucked back there with a little bit of Sugru. And, uh, you know, this is just a Dingleberry mod for now until I get the finishedness of Windows 98 on the HP T5720. This is going to be some pretty fun legacy DOS gaming. Can't wait.